Right. We, I, I actually, well, my, my machine died on me, sadly. Too much uh, oodles of information coming from you guys about SEO. <laughs> so I had to switch over. But I was able to send you the list of questions uh, that I got from, from our listeners. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I think these are, I think these are it. Like, so these are the, the questions like, uh, which pillar of SEO should I focus on the most? Right. Like those are the questions. Right. Like, right. Okay, That's okay, one great. of them. Yes. Okay. Which SEO pillar should I focus on the most? Okay. Uh, I'll answer that in a, in a trick way. A, I'll answer that by saying which SEO pillar you should focus on the first. It's your technical SEO. Cause if you focus on if you focus on all the rest without looking at your technical SEO, everything you do is worthless, right? But for me, technical SEO first and then on page. Uh, okay, next one is, does adding schema to your website guarantee a rise in rankings? Uh, that's a tough that's a doozy, question. That's a tough not, question. Not all the time. Because uh, when I did that experiment, yeah. So, so what I will say is, adding schema to your website doesn't guarantee a rise in rankings. What it does is it improves the chances of you getting that enriched snippet. Like, uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen rich snippets, but you get a meta title, and instead of getting a meta description, you see the review of a user, or you see the image of a product, or you see the deals that are available to a product, or you see the site links. Those are enriched snippets. So. You don't really do schema to rank. You do schema to improve the user's contextual understanding even while they're at the point of search, right? So, so that would be the way I, I answer that. Uh, the next one, how do I know if I need localization? Simple. Do you make money with people? Do you make money from foot traffic, right? Can you benefit from people walking into your office, walking into your establishment? If the answer is yes, you need localization. Uh, the other one is, how do I find the right keywords? With a magnifying glass. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> of course, you think about who you're going to serve. Think about, right. think about the users you're going to serve. So uh, it's not always going to be the best keyword if you're going to look at the search volume. Always answer their pain points first. Right, right. Again, it's, it's about going back to what ideas do you want to be keen for, right? Like what ideas do you want to set, like what ideas do you want to be relevant for and what promises you're willing to fulfill on your webpage, right? Like pick the ideas that you think you add unique value to and don't go for things that are uber competitive, like especially if you're jumping into a field that is super competitive. Like take, for example, dating, eh, don't even think about it, right? Like that is by and, by and large one of the most competitive verticals out there. Uh, okay, last question I think that we can manage before we let you guys go. Is there a difference in local link building versus link building in general? Mm, I'm not sure I understand the context of the question, like local link building. I don't think so. At the end of the day, there's still links in the ice. Right. Like, right? like local link building, do you mean like a link you get from Yahoo Local and a link that you get from your Google My Business? I, will, I don't think so. I think it's more of the citations that you build. Right, right. Yeah, I, to me, I've always thought a link is a link, right? Yeah. A link is a link. Uh, whether you get it from a leased asset or whether you get it, and, and this is why I keep telling people, like especially when I deal with clients, right? I, I will tell them, okay, you've only got, like especially when they're super new, they go, okay, you've only got 20 mentions online, right? And they go, okay. And I go, but you know, there's like 65 more that you can get on your own without having to wait for it, right? Here they are. Uh, and I think most people just don't know that they're able to acquire these links by themselves. And with that, you know, we'll do a, a nice quick wrap up. CJ, if you'd wrap us up, right? And thank you very much to everybody that's joining us. You know, given we went a bit over time, this is a super enjoyable topic. <laughs> Actually, we know yeah. the risks. We know the risks when we pick this topic. Right, this, <laughs> this everybody knows. Hour, I've been running around. I've been running around like, hey, guys, like, we got to move on. I mean, I know the topic's very interesting. But right. <laughs> we got to move on. But yeah, uh, uh, like what Bernard and, and, and Jerio said, we will have individual conversations about each of these pillars moving forward. And, you know, the, again, Burns, Jerry, I think you'll have more time to geek out about these stuff. Thank you for, 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 for joining us and for helping us, you know, learn a lot about, about the, 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 the pillars you know, and how it ties into the modern uh, digital marketing environment, especially that, you know, the post pandemic. Thank you for, 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 for you guys joining us. Uh, 
uh, I mentioned that you'll be getting like a 10% uh, incentive vouchers. Uh, we will reach out to your account managers to let you guys know about that moving forward. So thank you for joining. But yeah, we'll upload the resources um, right. moving forward in the next coming you, days. In case you need to have these right. conversations with your, with your clients, with your prospects. Yep. Uh, and please use them as a resource. Yep, yep. So yeah, uh, let's watch out for updates moving forward. We'll send newsletters for that and we'll update you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and our social media channels. But yeah, uh, that will be it for tonight. Thank you. And I'll talk to us. Thank you Let us know if you have much. any information. Bye, guys. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Bye.